Lee and uh, I represent Guerrilla Galleries. Okay, Guerrilla Galleries uh, provides a platform for new and emerging artists to showcase their work, sell their work, market their work and uh, have a good time in the process. Uh, it took us uh, about six to six to eight months to set up Guerrilla Galleries in total. Uh, a lot of that was uh, a bit of hard work, a lot of uh, stuff, a lot of failure, a lot of failure, trial and error, that kind of that kind of stuff. But a lot of fun and a great experience. So I set up Guerrilla Galleries because, as a mature student, and I am a mature student. Uh, we uh, didn't want to go back into our old, uh, our old line of work, which unfortunately was media. So uh, we felt that we wanted to do uh, something different. Uh, so if you, you want change and uh, you want to be your own boss, uh, run your own business, why not? It's the, uh, it's the fun and experience thing to do. It's great. Yeah, honestly. So, if you want to set up a business, the first thing to do is have an idea. Make sure that idea is sound. So the idea can come, it can be written on a napkin, it can be written on the back of your hand. You might wake up one night and say, oh wow, I've got a great idea. But the first step is to write it down. Uh, secondly, you seek advice uh, from wherever. Ask a mate, ask your mum, ask your cat, your dog, your neighbour. Uh, is it a good idea? A lot of people are going to say like, no, you've got to trust your instincts. And uh, but the starting point has to be that idea. It has to be solid, and you have to believe in it. Uh, the problems that we faced was again. You ask people, "What do you think of this idea?" And people will say, "Oh well, blah blah blah. Uh, no, you can't do this. You can't do that because a good idea is a good idea." And so the problems that you're going to face. Uh, Primarily going to be from people who tell you, don't do it, get a job. But <laughs> why, you know, why get, why get a job when you can create your own job? And so initially the problems are possibly people telling you not to do it, uh, a lack of a lack of funds, and we always think that oh, the more money we have, the more you can do. Well, the, the less money you have, the more you can do because it makes you more resourceful. It makes you uh, work work harder and try new things. So those are the, you know, those are the, pro those are the problems, those are the issues, but they yeah, stuff that you can overcome if you're the right sort of person. The advice that I'd give to other creatives looking to uh, you know, get into the creative industries is just, you know, do it. Don't listen to it, don't listen to anyone, which contradicts everything I've just said, but yeah, you need to get advice, but if it's a good idea, a good idea, you will know because yeah. it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's probably like last night's curry. It'll come, you know, it comes back and it comes back and you know all about it. You know that you've, you've eaten it, you know, maybe not just in the morning or throughout the night, but, you know, the day after. A good idea is, uh, you know, it's, it stays with you and, uh, you know, it's like a girlfriend who, who won't go away. Uh, you know, you've just got to... I know that's going to sound really wrong. You've just got to do it. <laughs> what I do differently in terms of setting up uh, guerrilla galleries, I'll probably do it a bit, a bit slower. Uh, so I'll take a take a bit more time and uh, do a lot more thinking. And so people tend to think that uh, when you're running a business or you when you're you're starting as an entrepreneur that. It's all about, oh yeah, get the dollars, get the cash, get the cash as quickly as possible. But no, it's about doing things and doing things right. So if you take your, if you take your time, um, you take, take advice, think about the advice that you're taking, discard what you need to discard, take on board what you need to take on board, take your time and uh, ultimately you will get it right. Because like I said, if it's a good idea, a good idea sticks, uh, sticks with you and it won't, go, uh, it won't go away. So take your time and enjoy it. It's, it's totally a richer life because it, it makes you uh, see how resourceful you can be, uh, how resilient you can, can be when your back's up against the wall. And uh, a lot of the times your back can be up against the wall, you can be up against it. But like I said, 
a good idea, makes you want to persevere, makes you want to uh, you know try and forget all the evils out there. And there are loads of evil, evil people out there, and loads of uh, knockers and haters. Um, so um, yeah, it's enriched me. It's made me it's made made me stronger, and it's made me see good people in a different light. Good people are good and there are a lot of them out there who all want to buy art. Our art, guerrilla art. <laughs> if I was to say anything to uh, any uh, would-be entrepreneur, I would say dare to be different. You know, dare to do the stuff that nobody else wants to do. Just dare to be different, damn it.